Hey guys, this is Pickin' Master. Okay, here's an interesting battle with my sand team. So yeah, okay, here we go. Just load it up. Okay. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you know, this is kind of this is kind of interesting. So I send down my hippopotamus because that's the lead, and he sends a dust skull, and not just any dust skull. But a level one dust skull. Oh snap! Okay, level one dust skull. Okay, I assume we're gonna have some sort of uh, tricky strategy volume pain split. So I'm just gonna go poison it. Trick room. It's a trick room starter, really. Ugh. Whatever. It's, it's weird considering that team hat that uh, this guy's team has Scizor and Star Raptor. But I guess Reuniclus and. Uh, Municlus and, uh, Rhyperior and Escavalier are pretty darn slow, but really? If we have a trick or team, at least make it more obvious. So, apparently, we're missing Will Willows twice in a row. I might as well get a free sub. So I can't use Willows ever again. So I assume doesn't even have an attacking move. So I could just wall this level 1 Dustnor. Yeah, I love 50, but the Purple Toss can, level, can uh, wall level 1 Dustnor. I mean, Dust Skull. <laughs> but even with the low one Dust Nor, that'd be kind of weird. <laughs> so yeah, there goes level one Dust Nor. All right, so so it's a little Scavlier. So like oh crud, I can't toxicate. So I might as well use Earthquake. So he uses SD. I wonder why he's SD. Why do not just attack first and then SD second? At least you can have a free SD with like while you like substitute or something. But whatever, he uses a uses a SD. Watch this. Critical. Oh yeah. It's, it's kind of interesting how 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 the critical can do to a scavlier. considering how how high defense it is and how little uh. Attack vest you have with the bubble toss or I don't, know, I don't know if I get to go into attack, I forget. But whatever. Either way, double critical. Scavalier's down. Steven made a move. Okay, that's time for Scizor. The other bug still type if one his team. And then I just realized, wait, I don't have a fire type move on this team at all. Maybe I'll consider switch uh, changing Thunder uh Stout and Thunder Fang to Fire Fang. And I'll probably just gonna do just that. So okay, so you use SD again. So oh, hope, I'll hope for another critical so I can kill this uh, Scizor. But I guess he's went to the video. I don't. So use X Scissor, okay? So it's one of those swarm Scizors or something. Like all right, whatever. So I'm gonna use the Earthquake. And does not kill, and then he uses that scissor again. And there goes, hip up a toss. Okay, so I'm gonna send Oma Star, because I really want Oma Star to at least get some sort of spotlight. But since it's a scissor, you know what happens next. Steel Gems, Steel Gem Bullet Punch, super effective. Enough said. Okay, last turn. Sigil left, you're up. Now, the problem is I don't know what hidden power Sigil has. So I might as well send an Ice Beam. Now, will it live? And no, it does not live. So you know what that means? Add Scissor to my losing streak. Yep, I actually lost this battle. But I decided to record this because look how epic, cl epically close that is. So yeah, good job, Blackie. You know what? I'm going to get another battle off this. Hold on a second. Okay, here's the second video. Okay, so more of uh, the sand action. Okay, let's go. So facing another Japanese guy, so I can assure myself that he won't rage quit. Because Japanese players do not know the concept of rage quitting. Seriously, the best players are Japanese players. If, if you want to, you know, 
play, you know, legitly and stuff like that, you know, no discussion problems, then face a Japanese player. So, Water Spout, one hit KSA Popa Toss, like a boss. Okay, so I was left with two choice, cho two choice Pokemon. Stalin a Bandit, and Omastar a Scarfed. Okay, so he pre predicted an electric move and sent it out Sly Score. One more thing of note. Stoutland has Fire Fang, not Ice Fang. He used to have Ice Fang, but I switched it to Fire Fang because I realized that um, he will be completely walled by Excadrill if I don't have Fire Fang. So, yeah. Even though Ice Fang has better coverage than Fire Fang compared to the other moves, yeah, Excadrill, Excadrill. If, if, if Excadrill is going to be uh, raised up to Uber, and, ho and everyone's hoping it will, then I'll place it back to Ice Fang. So I want to kill uh, Glasgow with Ice Beam, and I'm going to switch out Omastar to Stoutland again, predicting the obvious electric attack. So I'll use Volt Switch. I don't think it would, probably, I'm not sure if it would kill, um... I'm gonna start anyway because you know because it's rock type under sandstorm increases, increases the special defense by 50% deal, but I still I still not gonna take any chances. So since so I know it has um electro electros and um gel scent, I'm gonna use crunch instead of um return or you know wild charge. So I'm gonna use crunch instead because I don't have ice fang. But that's okay, because Punch does a uh, decent amount of damage, so I'm good. So, I'm going to use, um, yeah, Crunch again, use Volt Switch. I'm not sure it's a good good point, good part in that. I thought it would be probably better if you use another move for Simon Volt Switch, because it probably would, would at least kill Stoutland. Not like it matters, because I still have Star. Who has HP Ground and Ancient Power? Okay. So I'm going to use Crunch to want to KO the Jell Sense. Bam! Cursed Body on a Bandit Pokemon. You know what that means? Yep! I'm going to use Struggle on the next turn. Not just this turn, the last turn. Yep. Struggle for the win. <laughs> See what I mean? If I if had a lot of HP left, I still would have won KO'd. So yeah. Awesome. Good job, Stoutland. So yeah, and that's the Rio Battle 125. So I'll see you guys in the next uh, Black Battle. Hopefully PBR Battle, but no promises.